This really seems like carpool karaoke. Don't make me sing, please. <laughs> Take you to a special place. Wow. I can pick one for Portugal, right? Welcome to London. This is Mio's new series that will bring to you exclusive insights about our brand. My name is Afonso, I'm originally from Portugal and I joined Neil last year as an evangelist, so come with me. From one episode to another, we will swap the topic and swap the guests. Welcome to the Sachi Gallery, where the new brand and our sports car Neo EP9 were launched back in November 21st, 2016. London and England have been always playing a very important role to Neo as we establish our vehicle engineering center since the day one in Oxford. So today we are talking with Danilo Tiobaldi, Principal Chief Engineer of Vehicle Engineering at NIO. Danilo was one of the very first NIO employees. Hey Nomi, could you tell us a bit more about Danilo? Of course! Danilo studied mechanical engineering at Torin Polytechnic in Italy and he has been in the automotive industry for more than 25 years. He's responsible, from cradle to grave, for vehicle technologies from advanced engineering to serial development and releases in the final NEO products. Now we are in Oxford at NEO's Performance Innovation Center. Hi, Arthur. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Yeah, so this is a vehicle running on the um, gravel road. Yeah. Where we try to simulate the risk against gravel damaging the vehicle and the exterior and underbody of the vehicle. Then on this side? Yeah, it's the same vehicle, but we're looking at the actual risk against damage and material deposition around the vehicle. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. And here we have the comparison between the simulation and the physical test on an EWT7. On the vehicle integration, we have some of the components of the new ET7 guaranteeing that there are no issues between them. Well, that was interesting. Now let's go for a ride in a new ES8 with Danilo Tiobaldi. Danilo, how are you? How are you, man? Good, very good, good, very nice yeah, car. Yeah. yeah, it's a special one actually. It's, uh, it was yeah. one of the first that we produced in, uh, in Shanghai. Mm -hmm. Then we moved it to the UK so that uh, it became a tool for the final refinements. And also we studied all the new technologies that are now in NT2. You want to go for a ride? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of let's, course. Go. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Take you to a special place. So this, this really seems like carpool karaoke with, with James Gordon, but I, I think neither of us are no. good singers. <laughs> no, don't make me sing, please. <laughs> so we are here in England. Neo is born global, you know. Um, yes, the, the idea of William to be a global, global company, global startup at the time. From day one, uh, we, had, uh, we had offices in China, but immediately also opening the, the location here in UK. You were the, the, the employee number... I'm number 44. In, 44? Uh, in the ranking. Wow. And, uh, I might be the employee number 35,000, <laughs> so it's, it's, not, yeah. it's not an interesting number to have on my living room <laughs> in Munich. <laughs> so yeah, after so, so many years in Shanghai, so you moved there 13, 14 years ago. Yeah, that's right. Um, yeah. What are the main differences? What are you feeling the most from, from Italy? from Torino. It's a big, uh, it's a big jump, right? Uh, because um, the, the area of Turin where I, I, I live or used to live uh, is much more like this if you want, like uh, much more with opportunity to spend your weekend or your time in the countryside mm. around. When you're in Shanghai, you're always in, the, in this gigantic uh, uh, city of 30 million people. Of course, you are constantly surrounded by somebody. You're never mm -hmm. al alone, right? <laughs> but at the same time, of course, you don't know any of them. So it's, a, it's, a, it's quite a weird feeling, to be honest, mm -hmm. at the beginning. And of course, you get used. This is the place I wanted to show you. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? It's quite impressive. I can pick one for Portugal, right? Or maybe you can take one and drive to the new <laughs> house, right? Okay, that is nice. Let's talk more in detail now about that. Yeah, sure, sure. 
So this is quite a, a magical place that you brought me in England. Yeah, indeed. Where we have the, the EP9's storage. Yeah, EP9 is our uh, Halo product. It's an electric car, so it's, it's a very emotional driving with the torque and so on, so it's, uh, it's fun. So you started Ital Design in, in Torino, your yeah. hometown, yeah. working for many, many car makers around yeah. the world before joining NIO in June 2015. 2015, yeah. I can start from the beginning. I was in the very first workshop in London and that was a workshop when we really set the foundation of the company, our values, our mission, our vision. NIO always wanted to be considered as a, as a high performance product. How did the EP9 help creating the language from, from yeah, Neo. It's an inspiration for the uh, production car to become uh, you know, more and more uh, dynamic and, and joyful to drive. Between EP9 and ES8, which is a totally different car, uh, what was maintained? On top of all the uh, high performances, you need also to take care of the comfort. And of course, uh, even more important become also the cabin. Uh, experience and therefore we paid a lot of attention also to the noise levels in the car and then on the positive side the audio experience uh, integrating the audio experience with the pano cinema uh, experience with the with the VR glasses and so on but then with the materials that we are using it becomes extremely premium maybe we wanted to redefine premium compared to the the cars of you know 10 years ago, five years ago. And between the first platform and the second platform, which are the cars that are now entering Europe, like ET7 already entered, EL7 is now entering, and ET5 is coming next. What are the main differences? In the second cycle, and we call internally, we call it NT2, we just redesign everything from ground up, basically. So we're talking about uh, new suspension, new powertrains. Of course, then the body follow the design, obviously, but new interiors. There is a lot more technological content, a lot more computation power than before with the Adams. The super, the super, super computer, computing, yeah. exactly. And, uh, and this is, uh, of course, bringing the car to a next level. What role did the, the Oxford team and also the, the team in Shanghai played on, on, on this platform. When a new product is in the pipeline, the starting point is normally in Oxford. So Oxford is focusing more on the advanced technologies. With the evolution of the development, the maturity of the development, then is transfer to Shanghai and FA, the two technical centers that we have. In the validation air phase, we we bring back cars uh, into Europe again because, of course, especially for the, those uh, that are um, targeting the, the European users. So we need to have cars and expertise in Europe, and this is where the uh, Oxford team is, is coming into play again. It's a very interesting story because the company has been playing a, um, a global role since the day one, from, from the it very was, beginning? It was the very beginning. It was the, 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 the same year, basically. It was about 2015, late 2015. And we then in California? Operation. Then in, in South as well, and of course Munich. And uh, so, yeah, it was uh, really this vision from day one. So, thank you, Danilo, My for pleasure. your time and for showing me this great place with all these EP9s that everyone will be able to see in person across all the European NEO houses very soon. Thanks for joining us and stay tuned for the next one.